said you might be able to help. Soldiers. Yes, I know. You walked right into my trap, didn't you, Ian? ideas of escape out of your head. And as for your rescue, well, no one will come here. You can take my word for that. If I don't go back, Jules is going to get suspicious. By the time that happens, my friend, we shall have left. And afterwards, we'll take care of him. Look. Never know who your friends are. My association with Jules was bound to come to an end. He already suspected that a traitor, if you want to use those words, was working in the organization. But it's no matter. We're ready now to close in on him, too. So what do you want with me? Information. You will cooperate, Ian. Think about it. We have plenty of time. He's given you time to consider. I don't need time. I have no information. We'll decide that when you talk. And you'll talk. And you'll talk. Oh, Doctor, I thought we were never going to see you again. You should know by now, young lady, that you can't get rid of the old doctor as easily as that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how did you get out of that burning farmhouse? Oh, never mind about that now. What happened? Where's Susan? How well, is... she's here. We were arrested together. She's here? Yes. Is she well? Yes, she's fine. She had a slight fever, but she's recovered oh. now. Well, now, we must find Chesterton and try and get back to the ship. Oh, I know where he is. Hmm? I know where he is. Oh, yes? We were all in hiding at a house owned by a Jules Renan. Good city, you make a fresh now. I've just had a message from the first deputy citizen. Well, what is it? Robespierre said he wants to see you immediately. It's a matter of the utmost importance. Robespierre said immediately, citizen. Yes, yes. Has the young girl been locked away? She has. I saw to it myself, just as you wanted, citizen. Good. She should remain in her cell, do you understand? Under no circumstances is the door to be opened. Just as you say, citizen. And if that order is disobeyed... I'll have you guillotined. Yes, that's it. That's it. Oh, I should never have taken Susan to see that position. Oh, don't blame yourself, Barbara. As it happens, everything has turned out very well. It might have taken us ages to find each other. Do you think we stand a chance of getting out of here? Well, my voice seems to carry some weight. Hmm? Yes, well, I'm not surprised in that get-up. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, it's rather impressive, isn't it? <laughs> now, listen. I'm going through that door. Give me a few minutes, then I want you to go through the door and straight out of the prison. Are you serious? Absolutely serious, but I've no time to explain. Just do as you're asked. What about Susan? Well, I'll look after her and follow later. But, Doctor, you... Now, 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 there's no buts. Don't argue. You know my plans always work perfectly. Hmm? Ah, tell me, is the mate here? He's uh, left to see Citizen Robespierre. Oh, dear, 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 how irritating, and I did want him so urgently. Well, I'm sure he'll be back shortly. No, 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 this matter can't wait, it's urgent. I've just been interrogating that young woman, and I'm convinced she's a member of that dangerous traitor's party. Oh, I see, I see. Do you know she could tell us the names of every traitor in this country? But she would make her talk. No, no, no chance of that, no. She'd rather die first than betray her friends. 
No, I think if there's only some way of using her. If only we could get through her to her friends. Perhaps. Hmm? Hmm? Perhaps. Perhaps what? Well, if she were to escape, she could be followed. She'd meet these traitors, then we'd arrest them. Mert once did this. My dear, what an excellent idea. What an excellent idea. Yes, of course. Now, why didn't I think of that? Yes, that's what we'll do. And the mates will be delighted. Now, look here, Mr. Jailer. I want you to open those prison doors. Keep out of sight. Oh, but... Uh, no, 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 no. And sooner or later, that young woman will come through those doors and we can grab her. Go on. Quickly. <laughs> Are we? That's a good sign. Citizen Cobra really knows how to make pigs like you talk. He leaves them alone. Let them think. Now me. I have other ways. Stop that. I'm sorry. I'm afraid my men are very bad tempered. Ian, I don't want anything to happen to you really. But I think you have the information to help the cause I believe in. You're wasting your time with me. I'm very small fry. Surely you don't expect me to believe that. Well, we learned of the existence of James Sterling two months ago. We've been searching for him ever since. We? Yes. I've been loyal to the revolution from the beginning. If you'd known what France was like six years ago before the Bastille, you'd understand. I do understand, but I can't help you. Oh, you won't. France will never be anything until we're rid of these high-born leeches who've been sucking the lifeblood of France for so long. You must believe me. I can help you in no way. Yeah. You can save yourself a lot of trouble and suffering by talking. This is your only chance. Do you realize that when I finish with you, I'll transfer you to the prison? And then to the guillotine? Now, if you were to talk, I have the power to set you free. Jules must have told you all I know. Ah, yes. What did Jules say? That Webster gave you a message to give to Sterling. Yes, that's right. Only I can't recognize Sterling. That's why I'm here. Well, that I accept. But you must have known of their organization. You were in it with Webster. He would never have trusted you otherwise. Now, who sent you from England? How did you get here and who helped you? What's the use? I really don't understand what you hope to gain. If I don't get the information from you, I shall find it elsewhere. Now, be sensible. Save yourself from the guillotine. You wouldn't believe my story anyway. Suppose you let me be the judge of that. How did you get to France? You really want to know, eh? The truth. Oh, yes. The truth, all right. You swear it? Yes, I swear it. I flew here with three friends in a small box. When I left England, it was 1963. All right, lay off! Release him! Susan were arrested at the position. Yes, I feared her. As soon as Leon turned on me, we must get to them. I think it's best to go back to my hideout. What? The soldiers who were there already. Well, if I know Leon, she would have wanted the satisfaction of arresting me himself. In any way, we'll just have to risk it. Come on. Come on. Susan, Susan, it's, it's me, 
Charles. Please. Oh, Grandfather! <laughs> oh, Grandfather, you found them. Well, how'd you get away from the farmhouse? Oh, I can't explain that now, Charles. It would take too long. Oh, Barbara's here somewhere. Yes, and I've taken care of that. She should be out of the prison and well on her way now. And I... Shh, there's someone coming. Quiet. See you later. Be careful. Shh. But, citizen, hmm? didn't you collect the soldiers and follow the release prisoner? Me? Certainly not. But, but what am I got? But I was under the impression, my dear man, that you were doing so. I'm hardly dressed in the proper clothes to go skulking after people. Now, am I? I couldn't have gone. I can't leave the prison. Well, why didn't you say that in the first place? Well, did you? No, citizen. No, and what do you think the mate will say? He's bound to want to know whose idea it was. It was mine. Citizen, you must help me. I'll try. Now, don't worry. I'll cover up for you. But you know, I have a feeling that this young girl is tied up in this somehow. Now, I think if we let her go, I personally could follow and then arrest all of them. All I need from you is the key to that child's help. Citizen, La Manche was very clear with his instructions. If that door is opened, I lose my head. That's what, what Lamatri said just before he left. That's what he said. The mates, the mates. Why can't you use your own initiative, my man? Yeah, well, you must see him when he returns, citizen. I'm just a humble servant. If his orders are countermanded, well, then... I demand you open that cell door. To lose one prisoner is bad enough. To lose two would be the end of me. Especially after my orders, Lamatri will be returning soon. We'll do as he says until then. That door remains closed. Ah, oh, good, Clement. We're not to be disturbed. The news is serious, citizen, and there is not much time. I'm at your service. You are ready to give the order. There is a meeting of the convention tomorrow. Yes, I know, citizen. I have been warned that certain influential members, traitors, all of them, are planning to bring an indictment against another member. You have their names? Oh, I realize they are forever plotting. But this latest information suggests that more and more of the Paris Commune are taking sides. The plan is that even I shall not be allowed to speak. They're out to destroy me. All is not lost, citizen. You still have many friends sitting in the convention. But can I trust them? If this motion gets underway, they will turn against me to save their own necks. Mark my words, Lamette. If this plot is successful, tomorrow, the 27th of July, 1794, will be a date for history. Tell me the leader of this group, citizen. He will be immediately executed. Patience, Lamette. No lone voice we are fighting against. If they are to hold power, they will need the army on their side. Meetings must have been arranged. By whom? It is my guess that Deputy Paul Barras is at the forefront of the rebels. But I must be certain before I strike. I shall not get a second chance, Lamette. Tell me what I must do. I understand that Barras is leaving for Paris tonight. I assume it must be for a meeting. With the position as it is, it can be for no other reason. I want to know who will... And the decision. Given that, I can still defeat my enemies. What if he's just a decoy? That is my worry, Lamette. Tonight, my men will be everywhere. Barras, it's your responsibility. I shall not fail you. Against which member is the indictment being brought, citizen? Against me, Lamette. Against me, Robespierre. <laughs> Safe here for the moment, but I shall have to give up this house very soon. It's becoming too dangerous. Barbara, we thought you'd been arrested. Yes, we were. But when we got to the prison, the doctor was there. What? Yes, he's dressed up as if he's running the revolution. From what I could <laughs> gather, half the people there take orders from him. That sounds like the doctor, all right. The doctor? You mean Susan's grandfather? Yes, that's right. And where's Susan? Oh, she'll be along later with him. I just walked out. Walked out? I don't know how he gets away with it half the time. What did he say? Well, not very much. We didn't have a chance. But he'll be here soon, so no doubt we'll get the whole story several times. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? 
Oh, it's nothing much. Uh, let's just say I fell into the wrong hands and Jules arrived in time. And Leo? He's dead, Barbara. I killed him. Killed him? Yes. He was the traitor we were looking for. It was the only way, Barbara. He deserved to die. He was a traitor. What do you mean? He was a traitor. When I got to the church, he turned on me. He was going to kill me. He betrayed us, Barbara. He was a traitor to you. To his side, he was a patriot. Barbara, we'd taken sides just by being here. Jules actually shot him. It could just as easily have been me. And what about Robespierre? I suppose you well, think just he... because an extremist like Robespierre... Oh, Barbara, has... Jules is our friend. He saved I our lives. I know all that. The revolution isn't all bad. Neither are the people who support it. It's changed things for the whole world. And good, honest people gave their lives for that change. Well, he got what he deserved. You check your history books, dear. Before you decide what people deserve. Oh, Grandfather! But you're never coming! I shall have you out of here soon, but I must have your help. Now, look, I want you to get down onto the floor behind this door and don't move, whatever you do. Grandfather! Now, do it now, child. Don't argue. Do it now. Don't make a sound. Stay there. Someone come. Be careful. Yes, yes, do not. Oh, he's not back yet, eh? No, but we expect him any minute, then. Hmm. Sheila! Sheila! She's gone! She's gone! She's gone! Come on, Sam, quickly! Spare your breath, please. I'm quite capable of explaining the situation myself. All right, Taylor. I think it's about time we had a talk. I must insist that you re release that young child immediately. I'm afraid you're not in a position to insist on anything at the moment. Position, sir, do you realize who you're talking to? Not yet, but I intend to find out. Do you recognize this, citizen? No, should I? And these? They're yours, aren't they? Given in exchange for those rather splendid clothes and the insignia of a regional provincial deputy. You know, that's the biggest fairy story I've ever heard in my life. I could have had you arrested any time I wanted. Yes, why didn't you? Please, please, keep it. Why didn't I? Well, with the political situation as it is, and my position being what it is, I need friends. Even if they're enemies, people I can call on for help. If I have something on them, so much the better. It's become quite obvious to me why you didn't wish me to leave the prison. Well, I knew I'd never see you again if you did. But you relax the regulations today. And I could have walked out any time I wished. <laughs> And left your granddaughter. Just an assumption, but obviously correct. I knew I had you so long as she remained here under lock and key. If you remember, when I first met you, you were inquiring after your friends. The young woman whom the jailer says you just released, the girl and, uh, what was his name, Ian. 
So you knew all the time. Let's just say I added to my knowledge. Listening at doors can still be effective. What do you want? Ah, so I see we understand each other. If you agree to help me, your granddaughter will be released after you have kept your side of the bargain. The least I can do is listen. Good. Now, I'm reasonably certain that your group are working with or for Jules Renan. I think you use his hideout. Certainly you know where it is, and if you don't, your granddaughter does. I have never met the man. Oh, I fully appreciate why you must want to find him. But if you think that I am going to betray him, then you are a very poor judge of character. If you want your granddaughter released, you will have to take me to his hideout. Never, sir. I refuse. I repeat. If you want your granddaughter released, you do not have a choice. Where's Jules? He went to the end of the street. Look for Susan and the doctor. Well, the doctor would have to wait for the right moment. Yes, but how long can we wait? Oh, I don't know. Every time anybody passes the house, I think it might be them. Yes, I know. Barbara, sorry about Leon. But it really was the only way, believe me. I know. I wanted to apologize to Jules. I'm so sick and tired of death, Ian. I never seem able to get away from it. There is no way, Barbara. Well, there's no sign of your friends. Well, we must wait a little longer. Mm. I left the door unlatched. Ah, so now anyone can walk in. Try and be patient, Ian. Oh, I know these long hours of waiting only too well. I've had my share. Jules. When I spoke to you before, I, the things I said... You said because of Leon the man. Yes, I know. But I did what I had to do because of what he represents. Do you ever wonder why I'm doing these things? Hiding in shadows, fighting in corners? We took it for granted you belong to the other side. The aristocracy. No. No. I have no title or position. I belong, well, in the middle. But I hate to see order thrown out of the window like so much dust. There can be no loyalty or honor where anarchy prevails. And Leon was your friend. There are only two sides today, Barbara. Those who rule by fear and treachery. And those who fight for reason, justice. Anyone who portrays these principles is worse than the devil in hell. Here they are. Lemaitre. Your friend has betrayed us. Yeah.